Today I'm here with a Q&A video. Ever since I announced that Cabin Crew is going to be the theme for this month, you all have literally been flooding me with questions. So I thought before it gets to too many questions, I should just answer them. So I'm pulling them up on my phone really quickly. I've got so many screenshots. Oh my God, let's just try to get through them before this video turns out to be too long. <laughs> exact age limit to be a cabin crew so I've gotten this question a lot companies do have an entry age that it should only be till 26 or whatever but then you can work till whatever age you want uh, and uh, until you are medically and physically fit to take out the duties because I've told you that we have medical tests in the beginning we also have them after every four years there's a whole rule to it so in those tests if you are found to be fit to fly you can fly till whenever you want we've got crew that is like 30 years old 40 years old in my company so you can totally work now akansha96 on instagram um sent some really cool uh topics that i could talk about which is about teeth so what is the teeth criteria now um for teeth i've got i've been getting a lot of questions for teeth lately uh your teeth just need to be very simple you guys ask me can i get this surgery done or that no it's just your teeth like look at me look at my teeth they're just simple basic like your just teeth need to be normally normal they should not be just too yellow too dirty and all that why you don't need to get them centered or whatever at least go to the interview first if they say that this is not right tell them fine i'll get it fixed and then get it fixed don't just start shelling out money in the beginning when you don't even know if it is a problem you know next is about tattoos tattoos are just not allowed so not allowed so if it's on your wrist it's gonna be visible when i reply to you i say visible tattoos are not allowed now what visible means because of course tattoos are visible uh that when you wear the uniform if the tattoo is visible now one of you told me that your tattoo is right here at the back now that won't be visible when you wear the uniform so that's fine so don't declare it but uh well, one of you told me that you have a tattoo right here. You said it's on the inside of the wrist, but it's visible when you're gonna be doing a demonstration or serving and all that. So this is a visible tattoo. So this won't be allowed. So now with tattoos, there is no such thing that you go first and then decide you need to get it removed. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely say go in the interview and see if you're getting selected, then only get it done. Because what if you're not even selected and then, you know, so yeah. But yes, tattoos are not allowed. This is about piercings. Uh, you can have whatever piercing you want. You just can't wear anything in it. So like this nose one, this is not a piercing, this is a fake one, okay? So if you have a nose piercing, you cannot wear anything inside. Even some people put like a little wooden piece inside, nothing at all. So if you have any piercing, you will have to take the thing out of it, but you can have the piercing. Uh, marital status, uh, some airlines ask for uh, unmarried people, but then once in the company, you can get married. But these are also very company specific. But as far as I know about domestic Indian airlines, it's fine, even if you're married, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, swimming in domestic Indian airlines, swimming is not necessary. However, in international airlines, it is. Now that is, as per my knowledge, it's not the rule. Maybe some airlines are asking for it now, rules keep on changing. So as per my knowledge, swimming is not mandatory, but you do need to do your drills and all that. So you will be scared that day. So it's best if you know swimming, I feel like, especially in this industry. Okay, one thing I've been getting a lot is, I'm giving my 10th exams. I'm giving my 12th exams. What can I do to become a cabin crew now? Dude, focus on what you're doing right now. This is your school. Focus on your 10th. People are asking me that they're in 8th class, they're in 10th class. What can they do to be a cabin crew? You need to study first of all. And whoever asks me that this question that they're doing the 12th or 10th, I don't answer them at all because I tell them you need to focus first of all. I'm not going to answer you until you're out of school. So guys come on what if you don't have a passport or pan card like what are the mandatory documents for the interview so you need to have all your address proofs if you don't it's best if you apply it's not only for the cabin crew job but like generally also you should apply for these things right and about passport passport is not mandatory really but then if you are applying for an airline that flies international it is mandatory for them and then for the airport entry pass so to get an entry into the airport without a ticket or something you need to have an airport entry pass made if you watch my vlogs you must have seen me going to get the pass and all that so for that passport is mandatory now and Aadhaar card and all that is absolutely mandatory now this has happened from this year only so you need to have it it's best if you have it because if you don't you'll get an entry into the company but then you don't have a passport so you won't be able to fly because you can't get an entry into the airport so it's best if you get the passport and all that made but at the time of interview if you don't have it, at least apply for it so that at the interview you can say that yes i've applied for it then they will consider it what are my backup 
plans because some of your parents are worried that what's gonna happen after cabin crew is it like a what kind of an industry is it so backup plans it's uh for me you can say i am doing graduation and master so that is my backup plan i can get a job through that you can totally increase your qualifications and make that into your backup plan study something that you have an interest in so that that's like something different a lot of you study something like a cabin crew job as a graduation i would not say i would not recommend that because then you're working there and then you're studying that so what's your plan b you know so always have a plan b do a b or you know, something from correspondence or just anything have this in your mind you know so yeah okay one question that i've been getting a lot is if boys get job as cabin crew in india of course they do and i also got a question do boys get paid more why would they get paid more is that is that even like is that fair how can a company do that that's not true why would you guys even think that is just beyond me um do airlines charge some money for interviews and they also arrange group discussion so interviews they don't charge money for but training they do uh, it's just a training charge could be from between 15 50k to 1 lakh that is what i've heard now i don't know it could be different for every airline okay and group discussions i've been getting questions a lot about that guys i've not ever like i have once given a group discussion but i don't remember it at all we used to practice group discussions a lot in frankfurt but then i forgot what we did but it's basically these are gk questions only or something about the aviation sector so basically just keep on reading news about the aviation sector in your newspapers maybe google some before the interview so that you are just a bit up to date know who is the aviation minister that is what they used to tell us in frankfurt so that's all this background music is so annoying i hope you can't hear it okay uh if you're working in cabin crew and later you get a mark on your hand or face would that affect the job now guys some sometimes crew get like pimples or something like that if it's too extreme do they do tell you they ground you basically which is not a very good thing so they ground you they keep you on the ground for a while you basically at home and they tell you to take care of it and when it, once it's good you can come back and join so yes you do get put off duties because of these things and if there's a mark or something they tell you to get rid of it now I've never seen this happening to someone so I don't know but if it is extreme it could be a problem you could get a ground job then or something but yeah it could be a problem but if it's like a minor mark or something it's okay just cover it up with makeup it's fine don't worry about it too much can 10th pass with age 18 work in an airport or cabin crew no I feel like uh, 10 plus 2 is a basic criteria for almost every like job industry like this like you need to be 12th pass and it's good for you also so even if you're 18 and 10th pass do get your schooling done at least again if you have marks on your hand can you get selected guys okay if you have marks in your hand before going for the interview guys uh just cover them up with concealer and makeup i have um given my tips on how i on how i covered up this mark if you can see there's just this tiny mark over here i just filled it up with concealer lots of it and it was fine on the interview they did ask me to remove it and see what kind of a mark it is and i was like no 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 i'll cover it i'll cover it up with makeup don't worry about it so you do have to convince them a bit so make sure to do that and make sure to cover it well with concealer guys you asked me to answer why do i want to be a cabin crew how to answer that i'm not ever going to tell you what to answer to that i tell you it's an honest question so just tell why you want to be a cabin crew they're not looking for a good answer they're not looking oh she had a good answer that's why i'm going to make her a cabin crew they're checking your communication skills how you say it. they're they're not hearing what you're saying they're hearing how you say it so focus on your communication skills as in how you say the words and how you communicate not what you say so don't take so much stress i get so many questions what is the perfect answer for why do you want to be a cabin crew it's fine don't take so much stress about it it's okay just focus on how you're saying it okay what you say does not matter that much as for my knowledge at least so these were the questions that i've picked up i hope these answer some of your questions also if you did not know i have actually made a whole playlist of all the videos i've ever made about being a cabin crew it's called cabin crew 101 i'll link that playlist right here on the screen and also in the bottom bar below so make sure to click it watch all the videos and then if you still have any questions let me know because a lot of you ask me a lot of questions that i've already answered so make sure to watch the videos first do your research on my channel and google and then ask me otherwise i'm always here for you social media is linked below Also my email is right there and yeah I'll see you in my next one bye bye